Hi everyone, guess what? The quantum quacks are at it again. This time there's some idiocy about this universe being simulated and that apparently proves everything you can imagine. As long as it's stupid. Mike Adams wrote in an article on Natural News that a scientific study now supports the idea that we're living in a simulated universe, which also obviously supports the idea of intelligent design. Here's the basic idea. In a simulated reality, like in a video game, objects snap to a grid or lattice. That is, simulated space and time are discrete sets. Compared to pixels on a monitor, nothing can move half a pixel to the left, it has to move a whole number of pixels. According to Adams, this new study says that cosmic rays snap to a 3D lattice in our universe. Mike, the article says four-dimensional. Did you even read it? Suggesting that our universe is actually a digital simulation. And who's running it? Well, <laughs> God, of course. Specifically the God Mike believes in, right? Uh, he doesn't say that, but it's pretty clearly implied that it's not some other god like Zeus or Odin or whatever. And when we die, apparently we wake up in the real world. I don't think the number of dimensions was the only thing he got wrong. Let's just find out what the article actually says, shall we? The paper, Constraints on the Universe as a Numerical Simulation by Bean, Davudi, and Savage, link below, simply investigates what consequences we might expect to see if this universe is an early simulation. That is, a sufficiently advanced simulation would not be possible to distinguish from reality, so the authors are only concerned with simulations that are just barely advanced enough for us to be simulated. So do the authors conclude that we are living in a simulated universe? No. Do they conclude that it's likely? No. Do they conclude that it is conceivable that some evidence might be interpreted that way? No! What Adams calls evidence that we're living in a simulated universe is an article proposing how we might potentially find evidence that could indicate that we might possibly be living in a simulated universe. And it's not even peer-reviewed. The article is on ArcSiv, which, in fairness, has good stuff on it, but it's by no means comparable to a scientific journal. The site requires authors to be approved, not articles. Once you get approved, you can publish whatever you want there. So, no, this is not a peer-reviewed article. So, according to Adams, this wonderful new discovery has the following implications. Material things don't exist, so don't worry about acquiring material belongings. Or food or anything like that. I mean, it's not like we would need something that isn't real to survive, now would we? Look. Seriously, material things are as real as we are because we are material. And by this reasoning, should we even value each other? Should you value your kids? I mean, what if they die? Who cares? They're not real, right? Live to win the simulation. Winning means working to defeat evil. What? When was that established? If this is a simulation, we're not being tested, we're not playing the game, we're NPCs, we're AIs, get it? We're the ones being simulated, we're not Neo, we're not the people stuck in those tubes. We're the agents, the keymaker, the Merovingian, the weird Indian family in the train station. Wait, why am I referencing the sequels? Oof. You're being watched and judged. Look, in all likelihood, the aliens, not gods, aliens running the simulation would only think of us as a statistical curiosity. Look, they're not just simulating us, they're simulating the entire universe. And this is, of course, assuming that 
this is a simulation which we haven't established. There is an afterlife. If we are being simulated and we're just data, death would simply mean being dropped from active memory so that the same memory addresses can be used to store new data. Your consciousness agreed to come here and live this life as a spiritual test. No, look, if we're being simulated then we are still just data and our consciousness is just data. We're not Mario and Luigi, we're Goombas and Koopa Troopas, we are the ones being simulated, get it? If this is a simulation, that proves intelligent design. No, not in the creationists in lab code sense, you know, the alternative to evolution. If this universe is simulated, the laws of physics and chemistry and all the results thereof, including but not limited to Big Bang cosmology, abiogenesis, Darwinian evolution, it's all part of the simulation. Maybe they were intended, or maybe they are simply the laws of nature that got picked by some random process. We're simply one of the logical consequences of the parameters of the program. We can't conclude that we were intended, or even that life as we know it was intended. This is not what is meant by intelligent design. Now, let's be serious for a while and consider the possibility that we are actually living in a simulated universe. What implications would this have for someone like me? To be perfectly blunt, I don't give a damn if this universe is real or simulated. It's the universe I live in, and no amount of metaphysical mumbo-jumbo is going to change that. No, not even if it turns out to be plausible mumbo-jumbo. Whether I'm a configuration of physical material or ones and zeros made to appear to me as physical material is completely irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. Adams, you either didn't read the article, didn't understand it, or you're a dishonest prick just making stuff up. Or, most likely, you didn't read it, wouldn't have understood it if you had read it, and you're making stuff up because you're a dishonest prick who loves to lie for his imaginary friend.